Okay, this video is for Mac users to install Git on their local Mac computer. So we're going to open up Terminal. So I'm just going to come up here to my little um, find icon, my spotlight search icon, and I'm going to type in Terminal. Just to bring that up really quickly. Yours might be um, darker and look a little different. I've got bash on my bit. Anyway, it should just have a terminal come up and no matter where you're at in the prompt, your area will be different than mine. We're going to go ahead and see if we already have git installed just to make sure. So I'm going to type in git space dash dash version. And if you get a version to come back, then that means you already have get installed. If it looks a little bit like mine, where there's an error or it's invalid or it doesn't recognize it, then you do not have get installed. So we're gonna, for those of you that don't have it installed, we're gonna go and grab that. So we're gonna go to a website, get.scm.com slash downloads. And hold on. Oh, I put a dot there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we should see the different operating systems. We're going to go ahead and choose Mac OS. We, instead of just downloading it like it would have for Windows, we're going to have to choose one of these. Now, this is probably one of the better ones, but it's a little complicated. So we're going to go ahead and choose this Tim Harper one because it's a little more straightforward for beginners. And I'm going to click on the installer link there. And it's going to bring me to Sor uh, SourceForge, which I don't usually recommend anyone downloading anywhere here unless they really know what they're doing because you can get a lot of extra bloat and extra stuff you don't need. So be careful, but um, I'm going to go ahead and click the download at this point. And that should start a download for me and I get this file down here and we're gonna go ahead and click on that DMG file and let it op open first I guess and then open it up all right it's going through and opening that up for us and we then see the package that it downloaded let's double click that and it says cannot open because it's an unidentified developer. So we're going to have to make sure that our system preferences can see this okay. So I'm going to go down. In fact, we can just go up here and type in preferences and open up system preferences. And we're going to go in and go to the security and privacy area. And under the, we'll give it a minute, under the general tab, okay, let me move this over a little bit. Okay, I think I need to hit okay here because usually you will see it under here and we need to allow it. So let's click okay and see what happens. There we go. So now it recognizes that we're trying to do something and it's right to do this. So, uh, source forge is not always a great place to be getting things so we're gonna say open anyway and we're gonna let it go ahead and go are we sure we want to open it yes all right I can close that out and whoops we'll finish going through the rest of this download installer and we'll Hit continue here. And it's saying we're going to install it and go ahead and click install here. And it needs the computer, your Mac computer password, just like when you download anything else, you're going to have to enter in your Mac user computer password. And it's going to prepare to install. And then you can hit close. And it's just saying, do you want to move that file we downloaded to, 
to get it installed and you can keep it or move it to the trash, it doesn't matter. All right, so now we go back and I'm gonna close out my terminal I had open before and I'm gonna reopen it. And we should now see if we put get dash dash version, it should now show a version. Now don't worry if your version number is different. When you're viewing this video, it might have been a while ago. So there we go. That's how you can get Git on your Mac computer. We're going to make sure we've set up some config settings really fast to make sure it knows who we are when we go into our VS Code. And so we're going to go ahead and type in git config space dash dash global space user dot name space and then in quotes this will be your username. I would use you definitely use your username from your GitHub account that you set up earlier. So this will be your username and not mine. My username was this one but yours will be different inside the quotes there. And then once you have that, you'll hit enter. And then one more, I can hit the up arrow um, to get the last command I already did. This time we're gonna be changing the email. And again, in quotes, you'll put the email that you used. And again, this will probably be your BYU Idaho email. Since I'd already used mine, I'm just gonna use a different email. Don't use mine, use your own BYUI email if you, that's what you used. Oops. And hit enter. And there we have an install for the Mac machine. And now you have get locally on your computer.